As Aussie consumers, we are so lucky to have a huge range of food available to us every day. We want choice, we want fair prices, we want to know that the food that we eat is safe and produced sustainably. With egg production under the spotlight, I'm here with cage egg farmer Gillian Burke, who is passionate about her family farm and the industry she knows and loves. So Gil, tell me about the family farm here. Uh, we started egg farming in 1958 here, so my grandparents got a thousand birds in a free range system back then. Um, they moved into cages in the 60s uh, just because they found they couldn't protect the birds as well as they wanted to in free range. So they're having a lot of problems with predators um, taking the birds and also diseases. And now we have down in these sheds 106,000 layers. What's your role day to day? My main role is working in the chicken side of things. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, definitely. Great. This is one of our rearing sheds. Um, so in two days time, we're going to get 27,000 day old chickens. My job is to make sure they all have the right temperature that they need, access to food, access to water. So we'll put down these nipple drinkers here. Um, and we'll put down the feeders and we'll have the heaters going. So usually their mother would keep them warm. So the plastic lets us keep that temperature in this environment and it insulates this area. So the idea with the nipple line is so the chickens get inquisitive and they kind of peck at it to see what's happening and that's how they learn that that's where the water comes from. Oh, it's got nipples. <laughs> oh. So we can crop about 4,000 acres. Um, so we've got the feed mill behind us, all the grain storage silos, um, the mill itself, and then the loadout silos that feed straight into these sheds here. Each of these sheds behind us has 53,000 birds, and they'll go through almost six tonne of feed per day per shed. Great, should we have a look? Okay, good. <laughs> So we've got six levels in this shed. Um, the eggs and the manure both come out of the shed on belts. The feed comes in on the outside and then the water comes in through the nipples on the inside, um, which is the same setup as they have in the rearing shed. So how old are these chickens here? Uh, these birds are 18 weeks old. They're just coming into lay. So at this point they're at under 1% production. Um, and when, in six weeks time, they'll be sitting up around 97, 98% production. So what will you see in terms of the development of the hen in that period? Um, we'll grab a couple out and have a look if you like. Yeah, cool. Okay. So how many birds in each cage? We have six birds in each cage. So the small social group means that you have less of that pecking order and the predatory behaviour that you can see in bigger social groups in hens. What about the bird physiological makeup that it can't really it can't really control its temperature, right? They don't have sweat glands, so they can't cool themselves very effectively. So cool weather they don't mind, but the heat they just really suffer. And the beauty of this system is that we can keep them at a constant temperature. So if we have a 44 degree day here, which we have this year, it was 24 degrees in the shed. So it's pretty incredible. One of the huge benefits that we have with the cage system um, is the lack of diseases. So the birds are up off the litter and for us it means we never use antibiotics in this system. And even some of the preventative medications that we have to give them when they're still on the floor, we can stop using all of those once they come into this system. I've got a very vocal uh, Martha here. I don't know what she's saying. She's going to lay an egg. She's going to lay an egg. Gil, this is a very little egg. Yeah, it is. So when the birds first come into lay, they lay little tiny eggs like that. As they get older, their eggs start to get bigger. Do you think, though, that we could still make a little bit of lunch out of this? Yeah, definitely. Um, so what we're looking for is the colour of the yolk, so a nice orange colour, and as well how high the albumin here is sitting up. So you can see this egg is sitting up nice and high and it's nice and tight. Um, that just indicates that this egg is nice and fresh. Irrespective of the system, I look at the longest used by date. That tells you that it's the freshest egg, so it should be the nicest egg on the shelf. Gil, you've just taken me through the benefits of the caged egg system, and yet there's still so much criticism out there. Why is that the case, do you think? 
I think it's just because people don't like the idea of chooks in cages. But it's important to understand that that's only one of the elements that make up the overall welfare of the bird. It's a great industry to be part of and it's come a long way. And I'm really proud of the product that we produce. I'm pretty keen to taste the product that you produce here. I think sometimes us Aussie consumers forget to consider the reality of food production. If we are to continue to have food that is well priced, is safe to eat, and sustainably grown right here in Australia, we have to realise that there are pros and cons to every farming system. What is good to know though, is that all of our eggs are laid in Australia.